Find out how you can advertise with the storytellers of Houston, Houston City Beat. Contact info at HoustonCityBeat.com today. Former Houston Astros player Terry Poole played 14 seasons in a Houston uniform. Primarily a right fielder, he was also one of the most clutch hitters in franchise history. Poole recently became the executive director of the newly formed Astros Alumni Association. We sat down with Poole and discussed that and also the phone call he received when he found out he was going in as an Astros Hall of Famer. That was one of the great, greatest phone calls I've ever received, and it come, came from a guy, uh, Mike Acosta. You know, that's, <laughs> I, I got this call, and I went, I don't recognize the number, and uh, I, when I, so I didn't accept the first phone call, and then I think I called you back within five minutes because I thought, well, you know, I knew you were uh, involved with the uh, with the induction ceremony, but so I called back. When you told me about I was being inducted that uh, into the Astros Hall of Fame, that was, I've been inducted into the Saskatchewan Sports Hall of Fame, the Saskatchewan Baseball Hall of Fame, the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame, and I went, there is nothing like the Astros Hall of Fame for me because these are my peers. These are the guys I, you know, I played with most of these guys, or I know just about all of them, and, and uh, you know, I knew my stats were, close that you you couldn't ignore me forever but you know, every year ticks off and uh, uh, that was one of, and and then you told me Mike that uh, we want to let you know early uh, we're going to keep it uh, under wraps until uh, January to announce it uh, but we want you to enjoy it through Christmas and I can't tell you how much that meant to our family you know because I had a I put on a big party. I I called all our kids together. We all met at Carabas, and uh, they were all wondering. I says, just show up, and and don't be. They were scared to death. They thought, oh, oh something happening with mom and dad, or what, what's going on here? You know, oh, this doesn't ever happen. And, and I made the announcement then that I've been uh, was going to be inducted into the Astros Hall of Fame. We had the biggest party. I mean, it was it's. It goes down as the number one individual thing for, for our family. Let's go back. Uh, Jim Crane uh, looked at Enos Cabell and says, Enos, uh, we got to get a, a Astro alumni organized. Uh, Enos gave me a call and says, Terry, uh, would, you, would you help me uh, maybe possibly putting this together? And I said, yeah, uh, why don't we have a meeting? And so then I started talking about it to different players and just you know saying what they're doing and uh, we went through the induction ceremony of uh, Billy Doran over there and I've talked to a few people Larry Dirk was there Bob Aspromani was there everybody thought it was a great idea and everything and lo and behold I come across Mike Acosta over there and uh, and uh, we had a brief chat I remember and uh, you said something about uh, you heard about the alumni and I says uh, maybe we could talk about it sometime. And then, you know, I left to go back to Colorado, and then uh, I said, uh, um, you call me again. And said, hey, maybe we could have a meeting. And it thing has exploded, in my opinion, since then, because of the professionalism of you, Mike, and of Lisbeth. And I'm the kind of the conduit to the players, because, you know, I get on the on my cell phone and track down some of these guys and uh, and I, every player that I have uh, talked to so far I've had no issues at all they're all in this is something that's going to transpire years that's the way I look at this and uh, it's it's also about the alumni association it's, a, it's the same attitude I took with my coaching at University of Houston Victoria I made every decision based on the best thing for the baseball program and in this, I will, uh, you and I and Elizabeth will make our best decisions based on what's best for the Astro Alumni Association. I am just so excited about the initial stage. You know, we run up against a, a ball club that's in the middle of the playoffs, a possible World Series, 
and uh, you know, it, it, things are running fast. They're running fast, but I'm, I'm so excited that you know, we have an off season ahead that uh, that uh, we can do some some big strides in this. I called Doug Rader, not thinking, okay, he's 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 going to answer the phone. But going back, Doug Rader was a coach over San Diego Padres, and Raleigh Fingers was. Uh, a, a pitcher at that time, and I still remember going out early because I used to love watch Ozzy Smith at, um, work out. You know, it was just like this, this is incredible. But I walked, I was walking down the left field line, and and uh, Doug Rader and uh, Raleigh Fingers came came running out with a, um, a go kart, a cart, and uh, they were swinging rake, rakes and in, in the air and everything and chasing me, saying, "We're going to get you, pool. We're going to get you, pool." And I thought, these guys are crazy. You know, these, these are nuts. And well, I didn't really know Doug Rader that well, and uh, so I call him up, and I don't know why I'm going to get on the other line. And uh, as soon as I call, I says, uh, D "Doug." Uh, he says yes. I said, "This is Terry Poole, you know, formerly with the Astros," and he starts laughing. He starts laughing, and I'm going, "Why is he laughing?" You know? And I says, I'm, "I'm calling on behalf of the Astro Alumni Association, and uh, we'd like to, you know, get a, a picture, a photo of you with, uh, you know, a jersey or something that uh, you." And he's doing nothing but laughing on the others. He says, "Terry," he says, "Are you kidding me?" He says. Yeah, you know, I'm about ready to be pushing up daisies. <laughs> and I'm like, I want, no, no, Doc. I says uh, I've got many memories of you as a minor leaguer. I used to go across uh, across the diamond and uh, watch you play at the big field over there. And I still remember a play. He dove behind third base and he came up throwing, and he screamed uh, the, to the hitter. He says, "You're out!" And he threw the ball across the the diamond. You know, it was a spring training game. And I'm going, this guy is nuts over there. And so he's, he's laughing, he's having a good time. Well, he ends up sending the photos. He sends them out. He says, what do you think of these? And I look at him and I go, you know, it's great. He's, you know, he's got his beautiful jersey on, but he has no socks or shoes on. <laughs> I'm going, so typical Doug Rader. And, uh, you know, the, just by, you know, just, just by looking at the photo, you go, that's his personality. That's, you know, he, everybody has stories about him. I've got people that I want to talk, you know, talk to. Norm Miller from back, uh, you know, I got to know Norm a little bit, you know, when I first came with, up with the Astros. I think he's living on the West Coast somewhere now. But there's so many people that I'm looking forward to. Yeah, I think that uh, the, the history of the Astros, you can go back so many generations now and, and talk about individual players. Uh, but the Astros Alumni Association is set up so that everyone that has ever donned the uniform, uh, and we've had many different uniforms, uh, but it's for that fan that uh, is an Astro fan. And, you know, they win and lose, and that Astro fan is always there. They're there in the good times, they're there in the tough times, and these players whoever they are, once you don the Astro uniform, you become a part of our association. And I want these guys to, to, to be a part of that process, not being the process, they have to become a part of it. And we're going to promote the Alumni Association. And this is what, we want that association, you know, to have the same, um, um, I guess, thought process as a as a current player you know when it comes to the, for the to the fans and we're going to have we're, we're an extension of the ball club and we you know, and I think that going forward that um, every player that uh, understands that and and moves forward will all pass the baton down to the next person and and this this will this will take on a, a creation of itself yeah I came to Houston and I played 14 seasons with the Astros, 18 years in the organization. Uh, it provided a life for me, okay? I come from Canada, and I couldn't have created this life unless I came to Houston and, and got to experience to don the Astrodome, uh, Astros uh, uniform for, for that many seasons and, and then play with so many different generations of players. Uh, we are starting this Astro Alumni Association uh, and we want to do things correctly at the beginning, build it strong, get all the players, get, get, 
get the ABCs done here and uh, this this is we're just a stepping stone here this is going to be an infinity uh, and I and I look at uh, um, the again the relationships that we had in the past they change they move on uh, um, but the the Altuves and the, the, the Alvarez's will become a part of this and they may be running parts of this organization because they love the Astros. I love the Astros. I never wanted to leave the Astros. I didn't have the opportunity to stay under my, you know, the, the guidelines that I, you know, that I had for myself. But I, I thought that I was always going to be an Astro. And, uh, you know, I played last year at Kansas City, but I'm, I wear my Astro shirt all the time, you know, and uh, um, like I said, we're just a small stepping stone at this point, but it has to start somewhere, and we're going to start it, we're going to do it in the, in the most technological way that we can possibly do, and uh, um, and I, I just, I just can't believe where we'll be at one year from now. Once you've played with the Astros, you know, it might have been short, but uh, uh, a lot of, you know, it's a career. Uh, it's a career for all of us when, when we're wearing the uniforms. Uh, uh, we don't think about Astro uh, Asso Alumni Association when you're playing. You, you don't do that. Thing. But I will say this, that I remember uh, uh, one thing uh, when I was in the Astrodome, the, the Red Jacket guys, well, they, they got a little something when on their 20th, 20th year of working in the Astrodome. And I remember being in the dugout and I, and I was 18 and a half years in the Astro organization, and I was thinking, uh, if I get to be 20 years, I'm going out there in my uniform to get my red jacket. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I remember I, I always applaud, you know, like Willie, the groundskeeper. I remember, you know, uh, known him for many, many years, and uh, you know, it was a great transition to bring somebody like that um, over to the Minute Maid too, and. You know, when we started talking about the Astro alumni, you know, we have icons in the Astro organization. Nolan Ryan, Craig Biggio, Jeff Bagwell, uh, and you can go on and on over there. Uh, but I was very clear that this is not just about those guys. This is about the next level or the next two levels down in player abilities and talents. Uh, that's important because this is a different animal that we're, we're working with. We're trying to create uh, a connection amongst everybody uh, that's going to go on for years. A lot of these guys are in their 50s and 60s. They've got a lot of life ahead of them. And, uh, you know, and there's no reason why we can't, with technologies today, that we can't do some really unique things and artificial intelligence. We can, you know, uh, the, we could be, we could be a, a next step for a lot of ball clubs that they go, look what they're doing over there at Houston. And uh, you know, we want some of that. And uh, because once we get to that point, and well, I said, we just scratched the surface yet. You know, I, I haven't even got to the, the Biggio Bagwell era of players. I mean, I, I, I just gotta get all contacts and you know, but everybody's receptive. And they want to be a part of something. You know, uh, I hear okay, the Pittsburgh Pirates have a great newsletter. Oh, that's good. You know, we're going to have a website. We're going to have uh, we have domains going on uh, with on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, we've taken it into the 21st century, and uh, this is going to be the benchmark for for alumni groups for baseball clubs.